In this video, we're going to talk about a class of compounds called hydrates, which contain waters in their chemical formula. Now, make no mistake, even though water appears in the overall chemical formula for the compound, these compounds will appear completely dry. In one mole of copper sulfate pentahydrate, which is equivalent to 249.7 grams, we will have a mixture of copper, sulfate, and waters. Breaking that down, we'll have 63.5 grams of copper ions, 96.1 grams of sulfate, and 90.1 grams of water. Heating this hydrate will drive off the waters at different temperatures according to their chemical composition. At room temperature, copper sulfate will exist as a pentahydrate, which means that for every one copper ion and one sulfate ion, you'll have five waters coordinated. Heating this will allow you to dry the compound. However, if you heat it to above 63 Celsius, you will begin to decompose the pentahydrate and make another hydrate. Continuing to dry at 63 Celsius and a little bit above until the mass no longer change, you will eventually get a pure sample of copper sulfate trihydrate, and this will only have 54 grams of water in total for every mole of copper sulfate, and the mass will stabilize at 213 grams. Plotting this change over time, we can see the degree of dehydration. And the idea is that eventually the mass levels off and you get a stable hydrate form. Continuing to heat to 109 Celsius will drive off two more waters to make the monohydrate, and heating above 200 Celsius will eventually drive off the last water of hydration to make the anhydrous copper sulfate. Continuing to heat to above 650 Celsius will eventually thermalize the product to a final thermodynamically stable form, copper oxide, and drive off sulfur trioxide gas. As you can see, when dealing with hydrates, it's critical that you know which hydrate you're forming, as working at different temperatures will lead to different hydrates, and different hydrates have different molecular weights. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful. For other videos on chemistry and other related topics, please see our website and our Facebook group. Links are in the comments section.